We listen to the tune good, come and play it back. You understand? Not for the man they must sing certain tune half key. You hear him say half key, that means it don't really make no sense. You understand? Because right now the, the music industry, as you know, have got the people them in a foolishness. But I'm not, it's not that part of the acclimate me, me I'll deal with. I'm dealing with the people them who've come to acclimate me and tackle me. Yeah, so that's the point I'm making, but at the same time, I still want you to hear the tune and hear how the tune's talking about. I've obviously, there's Buju as a man who done sing about Boom Bye Bye, Shut Up, Batty Man, I'm Ed. And then Versace got gunshot as a Batty Man in his head. It's like, we should call, we should call Buju a prophet then, innit? What I'm saying is that, since no come for Akame and Takala Wa for Takame, we're going to go to task with that today. Listen keenly, listen keenly to the words of the tune, you know what I'm saying? He's talking about the music industry and how, you know, it's just full of rubbish right now. Me and talk me one for talk me. Let's see how good you are at what you're saying. In the week, I was listening to Quaku's show. This, you know, what I'm saying I'm going to talk about the slaves that we've got in our system. You know, and you can call them system slaves if you want. In the week, I was listening to Quaku's show, and I heard some the same girl that came on the last time and was talking about you know right the use them or not to write and all that. Came back on it again and talking about she's worried about the children. Now. I sure know that no one woman can't father all that mother all them children. I think women are taking this thing out of the hand. Like women, somehow women has got some kind of great power. Mainly, mainly I suppose. I mean, I think that's because most of the men have become some weak and and gormless and workless and full of gambling and weed smoking and drinking. So they, so the women them think that they can take on a certain role. But anyway, from the, so they start talking about they got degree and putting a degree up as some kind of great uh, uh, um, accolade, you know what I'm saying? That's what's known as a system slave. Because to tell you the truth, we're not in, I am not impressed. You know what I'm saying? A good degree, I, I know people that got degrees. You understand what I'm saying? Directly, you know what I'm saying? And they're not greatly, it doesn't mean you're greatly intelligent or not. It just means that you're, uh, you're able to, fo to follow a curriculum no. to a certain point. You know what I'm saying? And, you, and, and you, you know, I know people who are not that good at spelling even have got degrees. You know what I'm saying? So it's not all about that. It's about you're willing to go through and be, and, and be given a That's certificate yeah. so you can enter into their system. Now, the people who I have the most respect for are the people them, like I suppose Hillary Mohammed, somebody who hasn't really got much of an education, and somebody who's is, is risen for, from, you know, having nothing 
to driving around with a car with a car with his um, initials on it, like a rapper. I suppose somehow, in a sense, that has helped him to um, reach the levels that he would not have ordinarily reached by being on the street selling whatever he was selling or doing whatever he was doing. So in a sense, it helps him to realise his childhood dreams of driving around, around, the, around the community like a, a bad man would do, like with his name as a, on his number plate. So you can appreciate them type of men who have got no education and actually are the head of organisations which, which, which are full of highly educated men who are in insurance, lawyers, doctors, whatever, you know, the nation of Islam. It's full of a lot of people and they're being run by a man who's got not even one one tenth of the education that some of them are in the organisation have. So you can appreciate them, you know, you can say, oh yeah, so it shows you that you don't need a degree. Because if there's a man who's running a whole nation of Islam who hasn't got even that, and is, and, and is running that, then it shows you that it's possible that a man can, you know, rise from, you know, low status without no, no formal education as such. And, and control people with, 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 with who far exceed him in academic pursuits. Yeah, you like them word there? Eh? <laughs> You understand? So, you know, I'm not really impressed by people with academic, with academia because they show, what, what a lot of them show, I'm not saying all of them, is that they have an affinity with the system. These are system slaves. These are people who put, who stick their papers out in front of them before they put out their personality or themselves as a human being. So they try to impress you with what they're able to do within the system. It's cool, you know what I'm saying, if that's what you're about. But it, but it shows that you've somehow given in to the terms and conditions which the, which in, in which you have to take these, these pieces of paper from them for. Whether you get a pass, which you get a third, whether you get a 2-2, two -two, or whether you get a 2-1. Very rarely does these, that level of personality get a first, if ever. So you're still talking about people who are just basically on a course, which is just longer than a normal six-month one. They have to put in their assignments, they have to write up assignments based upon the teacher's steering. And if they add into this um, equation anything that comes from their own personal experience, they will mark, be marked low on it. And they might, it might even end up with a fail, or, a re or they might have to do a reset, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Or not reset, but you know, they might have to go over some, I forgot what the term that they use, they might have to go over some work again. So there's nothing great. I mean, if you're willing to take time out of your life and live as a student and rear, rear, rear and do all that in order to say, well, you want a degree in music or a degree in sociology, a degree in education or whatever, it's possible that it can be done. I know people that have got a degree in one total thing and they're working on something totally different from their degree. Just shows that they don't really know what they, were, that what they was about in the first place. But that's life, though. But what I'm saying is that I'm not impressed. That's what I'm saying. People who stick out there, they're, 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 you know, like, yeah, it's some great thing. I don't rate them. I rate people who, who, like Rosa Parks, no formal education whatsoever and was able to um, change the world as we see it now by just sitting on the bus longer than most other people. And you can sure blind the system saves were cussing her. The system slaves must have been the first ones to say, that blasted woman, how dare I got to walk to work now? They must have been the first ones, even though they benefit. I sure blind no say, um, Harriet Tubman wasn't was didn't have any, uh, any degrees before she created the underground train and led them through um, um, through in, illegally I might add you know what I'm saying with her gun I might add you know led them through these underground trains to freedom you know black slaves so the people as far as, as far as I'm concerned females or males who advocate this passive action and this systematical action are people who have lost, as far as I'm concerned, as far as Dr. X concerned, has lost their way in the system. These are people who have, have absorbed themselves into the system and, and are happy with it. And so that the war, there is a war between us and them. And that's where there's always friction, because on one, high, on one hand you have the fighters, and on the other hand you have the sympathizers. The same set of sympathizers who said that this is a master's house and uh, is not mass, you know, you know what I'm saying, or we seek massa, that same sympathizer. So because they got an education that is given to them either, you know what I'm saying, by virtue of government helping them with a grant, or by virtue of even their mothers and fathers paying for them, it's still government-assisted situations. Um, yeah, as I was saying, so, you know, with system slaves, what you have is people who believe that, you know what I'm saying, whatever they're doing for the system and within the system is right. Whatever they're doing within the system and for the system, respect, yeah, whatever they're doing 
for, with the system and for the system has has some kind of um, uh, some long stance, you know, some long standing uh, um, affinity with freedom. And I'm saying that no, it hasn't. I'm saying no, no, it hasn't. You know what I'm saying? And we've got too many of them, you know, in our community. These 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 um these these opportunists. These I want to evolve. I want to assimilate. You know why don't why don't we all get along? Why don't we behave like white people? Why don't we sign a why don't we sign a petition and go down to Ten Jarnin Street and demand our rights as human beings? Because now they've got a protocol that they've in, that they've they, they developed in in the European nations that we you know we as black people have rights. Yeah, please. This is a, this is the same same slave I've been talking about for years, man. I've worked with them. I've lived with them. I've talked to them. I've even slept with them. That's called sleeping with the enemy. When you sleep with a girl as a man, that's a part of being a slave or a part of assimilating and you're a part of rebelling, you're sleeping with the enemy. When you're a man and you're sleeping with a woman, when you're a woman and you're sleeping with a man who's part of smoking weed, you know, doing all kinds of madness and rare, 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 and you're about, you're about liberation, you're sleeping with the enemy. It doesn't matter what the colour is. Because I, I realise that a lot of our people are caught up on colour. And age-old myths, or age-old myths that need dispelling. Such as, you know, we, you know, we was all living in peace and harmony in Africa. You know, and even though I've talked to some people, I've, you know, I was talking to Kwaku today, and he's saying there is no word for, for, for um, slave in Africa. You know what I'm saying? Just like there is no word for maybe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These are the things that we've learnt from the. This is what I'm learnt, things are the things that we've learnt from the Europeans. You know what I'm saying? There is no. There is. He's also saying in his in his studies that is there is no. Um, there's no prisons anywhere in ancient Egypt anywhere. So we didn't obviously we didn't have us we didn't live a certain kind of lifestyle a sort of animalistic lifestyle as as this sex um, this sex beast lives at the moment. And what they're trying to do between all the media like. Um, the voice, choice, and, 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 and the new nation is they're trying to assimilate black people into a lifestyle of, 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 um, of perverseness and porn. You know what I'm saying? Through the help of Snoop Doggy Dog and, and all them little DMX and all them little nasty ass, dirty, stinking rappers that sing about nastiness and filth and batty sex and sucking and licking and freaking and all that because due to the help of these other slaves we've got this we've got this we've got this four-pronged attack on the real the, the liberators of our system so on one hand we've got system slaves who are busily assimilating themselves in the system and thinking they're doing quite well because they've managed to find themselves a, a degree or a master's or a phd or whatever so they think they're doing quite well not only what they're actually showing is that they're willing for the white man to pat them on the back you know what i'm saying for virtue of whatever, maybe they need to feed their family. Maybe I don't know. They might. They, of course, obviously, people have reasons for doing these things, right? But I am saying, without having any form of uh, um, uh, loyalty to your cause, you of course you're going to get dr drawn off into this. You know what I'm saying? By talking about the youth, them mustn't write. They shouldn't, have, and they're going to get caught on. So what if they're going to get caught on television? You know what I'm saying? I spent a, a, a number of a number of years in prison. You know what I'm saying? And and you know, and so did Malcolm X, and so did Mal, uh, so did Martin Luther King. Sometimes you come out worse. Sometimes you come out better. And as Kwaku said on the show, when you're in a war, there will be casualties. Some of these people are having some kind of sissy war, some kind of fanny ass war, where you know you don't. You know, you've got to do things the right way, and you've got to make sure that, okay, you've got to make sure that they know <laughs> that, you know, okay, that, yeah, please. You know what I'm saying? I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed by that. That's not, that doesn't affect me. That doesn't rise me up to want to fight, neither verbally, psychologically, or mentally. It doesn't do anything for me, as far as I'm concerned. You understand what I'm saying? I want to fight a war, and in the war, I, those people can't help me. You know what I'm saying? These are the people that you find at nine times out of ten will always make sure that you don't get nowhere. Because they're always detractors from the true cause. We have Mark Wordsworth, we have Lee Jasper, we have all these mixed race guys, Alex Awebalu or whatever his name is, all these mixed race guys, um, Paul Boateng, all these mixed race guys representing black. You know what I'm saying? We've got um, Diane Abbott, you know what I'm saying? All these people that don't represent me. 
or people like myself. You know what I'm saying? These people, they find themselves in there by, by assimilation purposes and simple questions like, or simple statements like, um, excuse me, as I was saying before, I'm not a politician, you know what I'm saying, and I've heard on Quaker Show, on my show, on Galaxy, we can come up with stuff that politicians are not coming up with. So what is their, what is their, what is their chokehold? Why they cannot come up with, um, with um, certain, certain um, situations? And just to sidetrack this slightly again, let me just go into another point. Let me make sure, and, and also to the same caller that phoned uh, um, uh, um, Kwaku and said to Kwaku, thank you for bridging the gap between Galaxy and Genesis. Let me tell you straight, Kwaku didn't bridge no gap between no Genesis and no Galaxy. You get what I'm saying? Dr. X took himself out of his house and went to Galaxy's meeting. Not Kwaku didn't invite me there or Kwaku didn't bring me there. Okay? Let me also tell you another thing. I, you know what I'm saying? I took myself to chat to Kwaku. Kwaku didn't, Kwaku didn't come to no place where me and Galaxy was and bridge no gap. So also, so it gets, it gets to show you also the way some people go around in a sly way doing things. They don't come direct. Now, it's not like saying that I don't know where they got the information from, if it was from Kwaku himself, that told them that it was Kwaku who bridged the gap between Galaxy and Genesee. Who, who told them that? And what are they thanking him for? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That means that, they're, that, that means that they're using the game that the white man uses by patting one man on the back and offsetting the other man. You know what I'm saying? When Kwaku said, he said it blatantly, we're not into them double agent games. You know what I'm saying? Because before we fight against each other, we're going to fight against you first. Then we're going to fight against each other. After we're done with you, then we fight. Me and him will just, me and him will just rule after that. But we're fighting you first. Remember that. So all you people that are coming with this little double agent play and trying to use that white man tactic of setting one man off against the other by virtue of patronization and so-called... But wait, what information did you have to pat... Um, uh, um, um, Quaker on his back to say that this is what the work he's done between Galaxy. He hasn't done no work. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't done no work. The work that's been done was been done by me coming out of my yards. So let just let you know that. So these are the people that I'm talking about who come on the air with their with their pseudo intellectualism. You know what I'm saying? And try to make out like they're a part of something when they're subtly trying to assassinate me. You know, the same person who came on the air, there's the same woman that came on the air and when they when they threatened to shoot up my one of my my um one of my lectures, you know what I'm saying, yeah, I'm going to shoot, bash me a shot. The per the, this woman decided to come back on the air, you know what I'm saying, and decided to say that she was going to come down there, but she's not going to come down there now that there's violence involved. And this particular woman called Dion has never been to none of my ghettoologies, ever. You know what I'm saying? So these are the type of people that I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? These are the people that who subtly sn snipe at people. Not up front, subtly snipe. You understand what I'm saying? And like, I'm saying I don't play that game, I, I'll bail you, I will yay you out, because it's not the first time you dropped a little style that I thought, well that doesn't sound right, you know what I'm saying? And you chat to me in rear rear over the air, and then you go on another station and big up a man for the work that I've done, you know what I'm saying? And he mentioned the same double agent thing, there's a lot of people who are out there who are playing that, that game. They've learned these tricks from white people by being educated by white people and not being educated by black people. They seem to feel by getting more white men education, somehow they're cleverer than other black men or other black women. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying, well, blatantly, no, you're not. I'm saying if you're not debriefing, if you're, if you're not, if you're not um, clearing up your mind once you go into them educational system, you're going to get lost. You're going to get assimilated blood. You're going to be in there with the rest of them. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying you have no use to up. You're no per you serve no purpose. Your only purpose is to serve yourself and your f immediate family, whatever that may be. You got no purpose to the race. You got no purpose to out there. You're just a purpose to some corner, just like I'm in some corner. If I can't break out of this corner or, or, on Genesis and, and do anything else, I'm just in a corner. Like most of the people who think they're doing something, and all they're doing is going into staff rooms and sitting amongst people and rare, 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 and just doing nothing. They can't change nothing. They're not, they're not bold enough, they're not brave enough to take on the system. All they can take on is, <coughs> is men like me. People who are trying to change the mindset of other people out there. People who are actively going out their way and suffering for the work that we're doing. Not people that are going, getting government grant to do no, to get no, do no exam. You know what I'm saying? The people that have to struggle for every penny that they're making. Not people that have got a day job and in the evening, you know what I'm saying, they've got HP cars and HP uh, 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 laptops and HP computers and they, not them type of people, somebody who struggles for every penny, that kind of person. This is the 21st century and enough people in Africa are starving, they're struggling for every penny that they're making. 
You know, people in Indonesia are getting 72 pence per day. That's all it is, a little certificate that you can forge. Nuff man, nuff man come from, from all Africa and forge them thing there and get better job than people who go for three years working them thing there. What are you talking about? People get caught up in their own ego, male ego and female ego. People get caught up in it. You know what I'm saying? Anytime you, anytime you point it out to somebody, they want to reverse it onto you and say, no, it's you, it's you. <laughs> It's you, it's your ego. No, it's you, it's you. Yeah, well, whatever. I can take it. Can you? I can take it. Can you? I can take it. Can you? That's the problem. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm dealing with. I'm not dealing with nobody who feels that they have some kind of great importance other than the struggle. You know what I'm saying? We are all gifted to be, that's what I was saying to a man today. We are all gifted by virtue of our genetic inheritance. All these fake leaders that you've got up there are by virtue of the government and all the other fake people giving them, they're not real leaders. Like I said to you, a fat belly man can't teach me about health. You know what I'm saying? Because he's not healthy himself. A dunce man can't show me how to read. You know what I'm saying? So somebody who is, isn't actively involved in what they're saying that they're all about, then them not can't tell me nothing. I know I hear nothing from them. I, when a man wants, I, when I want somebody to fix my car, I go to a mechanic. I don't go to a man who makes cheese rolls or somebody who works in McDonald's and say, Blood, something's wrong with my car, can you fix it? You understand? I go to a man who's proficient in the, in, in, in the technology that I want him to fix. When I want to fix my video, I don't go to somebody, in, I, don't go, I don't stop outside of a carpet shop and wait for somebody to pass by and say, can you fix videos? I go to where the person or people are proficient in that job. So when you want to get your degree, you go to the proficient people, and who are they? The white man? Who's the one who set up the whole thing that won't let you pass if you talk about Malcolm X or certain black things? The white people? The white institution? You know what I'm saying? They're not giving you no road for yourself, and you're not building no road for yourself. All these black girls are living off, a lot of these black girls are living off white people's um, ideology. They're living off white women's feminism. They don't even have none of their own. You got a few black, you know, black women who go around with afro puffs or afro or neatly done hair or their hair shoot off. And then you have oh, another set of them who, you know, blown off their hair. You know what I'm saying? I have, I have a hole in every part of their orifice, them nose, them yai, them teeth, everything. You know what I'm saying? You have different types of people. You have slaves and you have people who are fighting, you know what I'm saying, on the Harriet Tubman level. You have people who are still here today in the 21st century as a Nat Turner level. You understand what I'm saying? I don't want to go around the road looking like a tramp. You know what I'm saying? And looking like I'm not somebody's picnic. Just because I'm, you know what I'm saying? Just because I'm fighting a struggle. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go around wearing any African thing on this and that. Just because I'm supposed to be of an African orientation. You know what I'm saying? All the people them who are calling them African American, they don't walk like around like that. The children who are growing up today, they don't walk around like that. The children of the Rastas, they're not into Rastafarianism. Some of them are, but most of them are not. So that means the system is stronger than the religion. You know what I'm saying? It means that the system has got a very powerful hold on people. And the, the more people feel they can assimilate into the system and get where, is the more fool they become. Is the more we lose some more of our soldiers in the battlefield. Because they just become the enemy. You know what I'm saying? That system is our enemy. So how can somebody impress upon me something that they've taken from the system? I'm sleeping with the enemy, man. If the enemy is not rebelling against the system that has educated it, then I'm sleeping with the enemy. Because it's either you're a double agent for the African side or a double agent for the, for the white side. I don't know, sometimes when I come, as soon as I come on air, my, my shit just stands a bit all fuzzed up. Like, they wait for me to come on and then they scramble the airwaves or something. Yeah, you know, so, you know, so the, the bottom line is, if we're going to keep going through like this, going through like this and letting these little double agents come into our, into our communities and work for the police, like these informers that, they've, that, the, that, 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 that um, the government is paying, all these bad men that you see amongst the, about the place, they're slaves to the system too. They might walk with a bounce, they might have a gold chain on or a, or, or a platinum chain or a silver looking thing that is kind of trying to be platinum, you get what I'm saying? And they might go, yeah, yeah, you don't know, or they might go, yeah, 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 what, 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 or whatever, and they might talk like they're some kind of, like, some kind of rebels, you know what I'm saying? But they're not. 
because the original bad man was not a bad man for bad man's sake, sake such as the ones who talked about me a bad man you know me a bad man these original ba rebels were just rebels against the systems rebels with a cause these kind of bad men are just maniacs. Most of them need psychiatric help. As you've heard, I don't know if those of you have heard about the ninja, the ninja man who, chop, who, who got a couple chop and he's in hospital now. You know what I'm saying? Because he, with his little psychotic nut self, take nearly, I think he threw his, he picked up his baby by the foot and threw it out the window or something like that. And then he's, the, 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 the girl from the baby mother's brother-in-law give him bare chop, you know what I'm saying, and hospitalize him. Cho and, and as it said in the in the, the gleaner, <laughs> ninja man got chop up. <laughs> you understand? These are these are psychotic beings. This is a man who said me had a gun teeth, gun gun can teeth, gargan. Remember, and I remember even D Rose saying to me, he's the first man that come out with that madness. You know what I'm saying? And create the rest of the, the psychotic little mad little youths that claim they're bad. They're not really bad. They're, some of them are just mad psychotic youths who need to be hospitalized. Because the things they talk about is only somebody who's nuts. If you see a man like that on a television show, you say that is a maniac. Or that is, a, is, a, is, is like a psycho. You know what I'm saying? So they're not, they're not bad men. They're nuts people. They're crazy. And it's, that's what my, my people fear, like the craziness. Because half of them, are, they're, they're just, they ain't got no sense. You know what I'm saying? Not, you know, because when you go to jail, you, you notice how, if for those of you who've been to jail with these so-called bad men, you notice how the psychotic street, lo they lose it. You know what I'm saying? They're not in, they're not in, they're not in um, isolation all the time. They're not in the block all the time. They're usually on the landings. Some of them end up being T-boys for the little screws, them and that. You understand what I'm saying? And they're supposed to be bad men on the road. It's not bad, man. It's that somebody's allowing them to be nuts. Somebody's allowing them with their little maniac mad self to do madness on the road. But when they, I've seen them, I've gone to jail with them. I know what they're like. Some of them ain't got no... When, it go, when, it, when the screw takes out his baton, or when, any, when, when they blow the whistle and six of them fly down on you, the madness goes fast. The badness seems to, seems to jump out of their skin and go somewhere else. Like the badness stays out of the road and the same person stays in the jail until it's time for them to release. And then they, then, then they catch up with their bad self back on the road again. How come we don't hear about them doing all the mad things they do at a road in jail? I don't understand that. I think you're, if you're mad, you're mad. If you're tall, you're not tall on the outside and then when you go into jail, you come short. If you've got brown eyes, you don't have brown eyes out of the road and then, and then blue eyes in jail. You're the same. So how comes these bad men are not so bad in jail? Amongst the screws and other bad men from Newcastle and all over the place and Wales and, 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 and East End and Rear Rear. How comes they're not so bad then? This is what, we're trying to, this is what I'm, I'm trying to say, that a lot of these things is madness. You understand? So these are another, and, that, and amongst that same community is a breed of youths, a breed of men and youths who are being paid by the government, the Metropolitan Police, to, to stay on the street. So they, they get money from nowhere. They don't even sell nothing and all of a sudden they got money because the police, them wage pay them. You understand what I'm saying? And it's been documented. It's not something off the top of my head. You understand? It's been documented. You know it. It's been on the television. It's been written about. It's been talked about. You know what I'm saying? These are people they've got in our community, black men who are being paid by the police to hurt people and sell drugs. Because the police don't care that they're selling drugs or hurting anybody. It's been a system that's been evoked from a very, very long time. You understand what I'm saying? So they don't care that they're hurting us. They don't care that they're killing our community. They don't care that they're stabbing people and getting away. These police will give them money to pretend they're rich. The police then will buy them car to drive around in the ghetto with. You see this, you just come from Jamaica and two weeks later he's got a big ride. You know what I'm saying? And you don't know what he does or how he's got it. You know what I'm saying? Then this man get lick off the black, him gone to jail. You know what I'm saying? Because they're paying black men, not just Jamaicans, but black men in our community to talk to police. These are other types of system slaves. That is why in Soweto and them place there and in, and in South Africa, they burn them up with tire. In pharma for dead. You know what I'm saying? You know, see the man them start talking about in pharma because enough of them are turned into informer in these different places abroad, in, in, in Jamaica, in, 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 um, in America, in all these colonized places or where the colonialists rule. You know what I'm saying? In England. They don't talk about kill. You may hear them say about kill. It's be a batty man them want to kill. You know what I'm saying? Especially the rasta man is just batty man them after and them now kill one. All the, all the rest of them were there in England, not one of them make one Batman killer, not one. Ballad rest of them. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm a, you know, if you're not going to do what you're saying, then don't talk it. You know what I'm saying? Don't talk it. If you're going to do what you're doing, do what you're doing. I don't talk. Like, yeah, you're a bad man. you kill, shot, batty man. Anytime I see them, give them gunshot. Anywhere I see them, give them. Where? Where? Where, Sizzler? Where is it you seek batty man and you shoot them? You tell me, when you're coming through, when you're going through um, French customs, is that where you see them and give them gunshot? Because I'll tell you what, Sizzler, Sizz, there's a world of, there's a world of customs officers that are batty man that search up all your belongings. You understand what I'm saying? When you come to England, let me tell you something again, sis. When you come to England, a world of custom officer, even though you've seen it on the film, film airport, or, you know, on, on our televisions here, a batty man. Me not hearing about no, me not hearing about no, no Rasta gone to jail for gunshot, no blood clot, um, no, no customs officer. So as a simple point as coming through your port, or our port of coming in, you can't even shoot them batty man, you can't gunshot them. So what, what kind of make-believe batty man are these men shooting? These men are living in a dream world and they're making our use them chat foolishness. Yeah, hey, the father didn't make tough oh. Can I make a hit tough oh? Hey, tell them how to fit tough oh. Aya Napa, Aya Napa. You're chatting rubbish. Everybody's chatting foolishness. It's like everybody's lost their goddamn mind because the teachers are teaching, the teachers who, who are teaching over the, the media called music are chatting shit. You know what I'm saying? They're slaves to the system. All the man them like DMX and them man, they're them man they're slaves. Them man they get paid to Fuck destroy you. their community with guns and talk of killing and murder. They are system slaves. All they wanted to do was rise up out of the ghetto. That's all they wanted to do. We've got another slave, um, Jordan, Michael Jordan. The man is a trillion multi-million heir, whatever you call it. And he wants to come back to play basketball. That means he's a dunce. You know what I'm saying? You're a big man. You, he's probably a grandfather. You know what I'm saying? Oh, by now, I was in that zone. You get what I'm saying? And he wants to come back to play basketball, and he's got, he's got money that people dream of. He's a dunce. That means he went to school, and they only nurtured him to become a basketball player. So that's why you never get no words of wisdom coming out of Michael Jordan's mouth, because he's got no words of wisdom. All he's got is a so-so talent that he's got to dunk the ball. You know what I'm saying? And when the government, when the, when the tax system done with him in America, and when he's ready to dead and they rinse out the whole of it, they've got a plan for him because he's not very intelligent, obviously. Because he wants to play, he's got millions and millions of pounds sitting down, he wants to go back to play basketball. You know what I'm saying? So obviously, that was, you know, he never had no other intention in his life. These are the type of people that we call, uh, you know, uh, a youth was on the road saying that, you know, um, one, of the, one, of the, um, the ch uh, one of these um, DJs, um, um, from the garage scene is his role models. I'm thinking, what the fuck? I was asking what? All he could say that they, they, they put out enough tune. Well, I mean, what's that? Is that a role model then? So that's the models have become so simplistic. All you need to do is make money and you're a role model. That you don't have to have no integrity, no sense, or no values or anything. Just make money and you're a role model. That's what, and the, and the, and the mothers and fathers of, of this time now, they're not teach nothing. They're too busy earning. Some of them you've got to feel sorry for, and some of them are trying really hard. You've got to admit, you've got to admit that, because we do get some of them who come up and they're yeah, trying hard. But some of them, they don't teach their youth nothing. I've got another youth that's saying that, you know, his mum don't show him nothing. He just deals with what he does, does whatever he does. And she just allows him to make the right choices for himself. But does he know when to do do when you're growing up? That means he doesn't know to make the right choices. Does it, know when, does it know when to eat? That means it doesn't know how to make the, the right choices. Does it know what the time is to go to bed? That means it doesn't know how to make the right choices. So that means from the time that you have a child, you're supposed to nurture the choices by virtue of who you are. You don't just churn out a child for the system because he becomes a system slave. The child belongs to you. You know what I'm saying? You control it. You run its life for the first 10, 10 or so years of its life. You, everything it has to do as it's told. That means that you haven't taught it nothing then. What are the values of you taught it? You've got to teach the child values, man or woman. You get what I'm saying? And some of the values that some people are teaching is that they're teaching their children how to just become slaves and nomads in this society. Not defend nothing, not be a part of anything, just be. You know what I'm saying? Have no, you know, have no allegiances, have no loyalties. Just be just this empty vessel that, that floats around until, you know, until they run out of EastEnders episodes. These are the system slaves that we're dealing with. People who claim that they're of something and they're not of nothing. You know what I'm saying? Gunshot. I got. I played some tunes. I was gonna bring them in this week, but I thought I've, I've done enough of that, so I didn't bring them in this week. I'll probably bring them in next week or, or whatever. Beer talk of killing and murder. The best DJs that I know. Uh, that's what they talk about. The best DJs that they are. That's what they talk about. You know what I'm saying? I got a call coming through. I'm gonna. I think the live link is working, so I'm gonna put you on live if you dare. Yeah. 
keep calling. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, I'm turning on my radio. Yeah. You from Oxford Road, yeah? Yeah. Do you remember to take over the show this morning, yeah? Yeah, Who's, who am I talking yeah, to? Yeah. Blue, is that blue? Hello? Hello? Have you cut off? Hello, I can't hear Yo. you. Oh, yeah, got ya. Sorry about that, yeah? Yeah. The thing that I did like, did like about that show with the youth, them, when the youth them start talking about white girl and them thing there. You know? Yeah. So I'm glad I turned on. I just turned on and hear your talk. So I wonder if it's them me I go over. Yeah, 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 I was actually. Yeah, well, I shouldn't really disturb you. I make you got you. But the thing at the end of the day, when it was like white girl and, and, and them youth there, what they call the African youth them, yeah. Mali youth them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. one thing I'd like about the Somali, but they're still running around the white girl the same way. Yeah. But them unite as one unit. You understand me? Yeah, yeah. But no, blood, but you see, you, yeah, but it's not, there's nothing so, there's, you see, there's nothing so esoteric and great about that uni unity, blood. It's the same thing when we came here and we touch up Notting Hill and we touch up Brixton and we touch up Peckham. When we land together, what happens is that the system hasn't grabbed us yet. The Somalians are going to get fucked just like everybody else. Because they're going right, to they're gonna want the same thing. They listen to the rap music, yeah? They, yeah. li they listen, they're watching pop music and they're into Britney Spears and they're into um, Foxy Brown. So they're going to get fucked you. as well. But because they're new to the area, they're new to this immigration thing, they're like how, we, remember when we was young? Beer yeah. masses we used to go around, we used to go to certain dances and it was always Saxon crew or this crew or, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the oh, same. No, 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 I don't want to stop you, but when we used to go shaka, mm. it was pure black people, now the whole world's there, Chinese man, yeah, exactly, man, exactly, exactly, man, exactly, exactly. crazy man running in a circle. That's right. You understand me? And mm. things don't seem right, everybody's a mingle up in everybody's thing. Yeah, no, but the, the, reason, the reason being is because there's, a, there, there's, there's, there's something afoot to change up the whole fray. Because remember, as you know that, the. A lot of people keep thinking this thing about the African man, right? Uh -huh. But the only person that they've really got a problem with is the dark-skinned, melanated man. They don't really have a problem with, with, with Paul Boateng and all them light-skinned people. Okay. Although they're saying they're black. I'm not saying they're not black, you know, blood. What uh -huh. I'm saying is that... Well, well, hey, we want to we get up the stereotype shit. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, what I'm saying is and that... that's what I'm seeing here. I'm just feeling it and seeing it. Saying and what? when I'm coming out of my house, I don't want to walk on the street no more because it's disgusting. You understand? Yeah, but what I'm saying is that the reason why, the reason why they're trying to crush the dark-skinned man's spirit, so what they do is they create this other d black man that they call a black man who's far lighter, which is closer to their complexion. So I they then it. start to call so him a black man, man and we as dark-skinned, dark blacks start to call them black people too. So what happens to these dark-skinned people who get no look in? What happened to them? Same thing they Will did I? in India, same thing they oh, do what? in Africa, same thing they did in America with the, the Sioux, as, as you know, the Blackfoot. All these are black-skinned people. They bring the darker-skinned people, same thing they did with the Morais. They bring the darkest people to the bottom and then have some light-skinned person call it taking um, what's known as superimposing. Huh? In Jamaica, the lighter skin man, them call them Busha. Yeah. See? Like a bar. Blood, blood, the battery's gonna go, yeah? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, the battery's gonna go. But go on, carry on, carry on. But if it cuts, you know it's the battery, not me. Yeah, yeah no yeah. worries about nothing, man. But just keep up the good work. No, I carry on, say. carry on. Say that bit about the Busha. Busha, at Jamaica, that's what I'm called, bars. So if you're darker skin, you're not nothing. But if you're a Busha, you won't 